I know this may be old news, but I'm still seeing in threads a lot of people bringing up the whole catfishing incident and people not thinking that Mary is a victim. I'm on the fence. I think Cody's a piece of crap. He deserved to be cheated on, but neither here nor there. Now, there are hundreds of voicemails that this Sam person has recorded. And I'm only going to list here a few of them so you can get an idea. This one is number 130, dated June 8th, 2015 at 5 p.m. And this, she mentions, I was driving down your road. So clearly she knows where this person lives. We haven't talked in two hours. Wow. They talk a lot. If all the timestamps on the texts are, are true, they talk constantly on text. They first started meeting by talking on, I think it was Twitter or Instagram or something like that. These voicemails are at least a half a dozen a day. A day. Hey. So you told me to let you know when I was driving down your road. So I'm driving down your road. So I'm letting you know. And I thought it would be fun to see if I could try to catch you, but maybe it was busy. Anyway, so that's all. Um, and actually, because we haven't talked in over two hours. <laughs> I just touch a base with you. Hope you're having a good afternoon. And things are. Now, the next clip is number 159. It's regarding a trip, I guess, they took to Utah. It is marked uh, June 24th, 2015, 7.01 p.m. In it, she says she's anxiously waiting his arrival. Excuse me for being a nag. It's been like a half an hour, baby. I'm just anxiously awaiting their arrival. I'm finally dating. This next clip is number 186, where she says, Saw you. So clearly she knows what this person looks like. Saw her, but it looked like you were probably walking. So I thought I should get home. I'll be back if you want to. This is clip 188, dated June 30th, 2015. Same date as the one before. Only said, just less than an hour later, 7.58 a.m. She goes, I wasn't comparing you and anyway. So I'm assuming she's meaning Cody. Because she goes on to say, you were taller, better looking, blah, 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 kinder and sweeter. And I wasn't, I wasn't comparing you. And anyway, you know what? Guess what? If I were to compare you, you win on all counts. You win on all fucking levels. Now I'm pissed. You don't think that, (laughs) you don't think that I think that you'd be out. You don't think that I think that you're taller, better looking. (laughs) Very much better looking, by the way. (laughs) Kinder, sweeter. You care about me. You want me. You say that you're willing to fight for me. You say all these things about love and affection and passion. So yeah, if I were to compare you, you win all the time. But that was not a comparison. It was, I know the pain of that. That's all that was. And that's not what I want with you. You know that. You you need to just... I am fighting my darndest for you right now because I saw you slipping away and I'm fighting 
when everything in me tells me, all my history, excuse me, all my history tells me to just back off and let go. And I'm not doing that with you. I told you I wouldn't, and I'm keeping that promise, and I'm right here. But I know that it makes you mad when I it's you. And all I want is you. That's all I want to do. And I just keep fighting for you, and I just keep pushing you away. I'm telling you, if someone messaged me as much as they talk, it would get the hell on my nerves. Like I said, they're they're texting constantly if these text screenshots have not been doctored. If these voicemail dates are correct, and like I said, there's over 200 voicemails this person has recorded. And if you think back, the August trip, which she talks about coming out and uh, mentioning the catfish, that aired on November 15th. The, but it actually happened on August 15th, or 2015, rather. So these the, the turnaround time during these are just months. It's a lot quicker than what we're seeing right now, the turnaround times from when they're filming to when they're airing. Because a couple of episodes before was Cody adopting the kids, and that aired October 2015, and the actual adoption happened June 2015. Like I said, if the timestamps are correct, this person posts aren't doctored. They were texting long after the Alaska trip where she came out about having a catfish. I'm going to include the email, uh, the website address so you can go and check it out for yourself. But I'm not going to lie. She comes across as a, a creepy stalker, very creepy psycho stalker.